Well, hey there, YouTube, fellow silver stackers, silver pours, silver enthusiasts, AG Ender with you here again in the shed. And as you can see, I've got four more states ready to go. You got New Hampshire, Delaware, Rhode Island, and West Virginia. Um, like most of this set's been, it hasn't really been to scale. And the individual who I am making these for asked for this last. 10 states in the set to be a little bit bigger, so that's what I'm going for. And we will see where they all turn out, weight-wise and look-wise. But for now, we'll get some silver melted and come right back. I will see you soon. Well, for whatever reason, I missed the pour. It didn't start recording, but here's what it looks like right now. I did get most of it filled. I'm going to have to add an ounce. This is probably going to be pushing 7-8 ounces when I'm all said and done with but we will come back and definitely make sure i get the second pour for you so hold tight and i will see you soon okay the silver is ready here i did add a little bit so hopefully this is enough and it's the last pour we need to adjust this fish a little bit it's a little bit big for the handle I have. Yep. And I'm going to get the second torch back on it. So I'll be right back. Hold tight and let me get that silver all the way heated up. Okay, here we go. that sit and hopefully it turns out fine hopefully it's nice and smooth because I don't want to pour this one again it's a little bit on the big side for what I can do like I said my handle is for the medium and this is a large dish so hold tight I'll be right back okay let's get a little focus here and let's see how it looks yeah I can probably deal with that couple little spots there to flatten out and throw this in the water real quick but I think that will do nice I will have to get another dish ready since I'm hoping I don't have any more that big and the these dishes do just fine because that's what I can easily hold in my handle I'm gonna probably have to get a bigger handle for some of these bigger pours but Pop this out of the water, dry it off a little bit, and show you how it looks. And I gotta remember which direction is the right way. I believe it's like so. As you can see, I had a little bit of bubbling here and here, which I should be able to soften out a little bit. A little piece of uh, flux there that I can chip off, but overall, not too bad. So we will work on that and get some silver melted get a dish ready and come back for pour number two which i'll just work my way down the row actually you know what i'm going to do because the way this is set up is actually turn this around so we'll work our way right to left and get to new hampshire delaware then rhode island so hold tight see you soon all right here we go first pour into new hampshire And that was four ounces, so we'll add one more for the second pour and should be set. So hold tight, we will come right back for that one. Okay, we're ready. Let's get pour number two here. Should work out nicely, cover it up, and we will be back and see how it works out. You can hear uh, West Virginia tumbling away there, so we'll show you that too at some point. But for now, hold tight, I'll be right back. Okay, let's check it out. 
and again a few little bubbles but nothing we can't work out so in the water it goes and the towel is here and there we go you see a couple little bubbles here here so again nothing major good look here on the back so we will get these dealt with and get this in the tumbler get some silver melted for Delaware next so I will be right back and here we go with Delaware number one Again, about four ounces here in the dish, and looks like that will do just fine for this one as well as it did on the last one. So we'll throw one more round or bar in this case in the dish for the second pour and see how it turns out. So hold tight. See you in a moment. So I actually ended up going two more ounces in here. Had a spot that didn't quite fill on the first pour, so. I don't know if you can tell there on the camera or not, it doesn't look like it. They're not quite melted enough. That should be good now. And then we'll get this covered. Might do a third pour. We'll see how it turns out. It wasn't quite as defined on the burned out side as I had hoped, but we'll see. And I do have some silver there left in the dish you can see. We'll definitely get that melted for the next pour, whether it's Rhode Island or number two or number three for Delaware. So hold tight and we will see what happens. Well, time to see how it turned out. And we look good, nice and smooth. So I'm happy with this one. One little spot down there, but that's not even as bad as the other two have been so far. So happy with that. Get the towel and wipe it off a little bit. And there we go. And you can see right here had that one little spot, but other than that, nice and smooth. The normal little dimples here and there so we will and good definition there I'm a little worried it wouldn't quite be that good the way it burned out but it does look good try and focus for you there you go and there's that one so we got the fourth and final pour to go Rhode Island so we'll get some silver melted and be right back <laughs> Okay, let's see how we do here. There are a couple little tricky spots down here on the bottom and here on the east coast. So let's see how this works out. The silver is ready here. I think I got that everywhere. A little tough sometimes to see through the flame there, of course. But it does look like all the little spots are filled in. So we will let that burn down and come right back for hopefully the final pour of the afternoon. Okay, here we go with what is hopefully the final pour of the day. Number two into Rhode Island. And we'll see how this turns out. Looks like it should be okay. Had to kind of wiggle that around a little bit to get in all the little detail. But it looked okay. I wanted to get it covered before it started to get too bubbled up. But we shall see in a few minutes. So see you then. And here we go with the final reveal. And it looks good. 
again a little spot here and there but no thick uh, no big deal nothing we can't sand out and knock down pull it off here enough to pick up grab a screwdriver here and knock out this little piece of charred wood it'll come out in the tumbler anyways but I like to show everything if I can <coughs> excuse me and there we go you see one little spot here and maybe one little spot here on this little finger sticking out but nice and smooth so that should turn out nice and that will wrap this up for now I'll come back do a quick second video once I get everything polished so hold tight for that hopefully you see it here within a day or two I'm not sure how much time I'm gonna have to get these polished today or tomorrow can have some plans but for now this will do it so thank you all for stopping by like share comment subscribe all greatly appreciated I will catch you next time AGN you're signing off have a good day